Barbara Lamb is a crop circle researcher and regressionist, both very intriguing aspects of her lengthy career. While regressing clients who felt they'd experienced strange and anomalous events that were beyond the grasp of their conscious minds to recall, she began to witness stories of encounters with aliens. After more than 600 such regressions, nothing surprises her any longer, including contacts with reptilians. Well, I think that my clients have experienced quite a number of different, shall we say, subspecies yeah. of the reptilian group. And for all I know, they may even come from different planets or mm -hmm. different places in the universe. Um, many of them seem to be extremely interested in human sexuality and in combining their reproductive material with human sexuality. Hybridization. Creating, yes, human reptilian hybrids. And one of my clients had uh, two children who lived to be adults. And in one regression, um, we, she met them. Um, we never experienced, expected this to happen, but she, in that one regression, went aboard a craft and was yet again with the reptilian male who had years earlier declared that he was her husband. And she was saying, as a very young woman, she said, you can't be my husband. I have a husband back in Southern California, and gave his name. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, well, I'm, I'm your reptilian husband on the ship. How'd she feel you know? about that? Well, she had known this being all of her life, ever since she was a young child. And when she was a child, she used to be taken to this craft and she would have sessions meeting with this large, tall, muscular reptilian being who seemed to be an adult at that time, and she was a child. And he had special quarters on the spacecraft. I know this sounds like science fiction too, but she would be taken to his quarters where they had very low sofas kind of around the curved wall, and they'd sit on the sofas and he would actually play games with her and teach her things. A lot of it was done telepathically, mm -hmm. as so many of the beings do. And uh, he was kind of a nice guide and a very nice friend, kind of like a friendly uncle. That's sort of how she felt about mm -hmm. him. However, when she was about nine and a half years old, and she was taken for one of those experiences to that male being, he then said, okay, now we are to be married. For the full-length version of this incredibly intriguing story, go to ConsciousMediaNetwork.com.